In this video we will go through the process of starting up your printer and making your first print. So at this stage you have assembled your, your printer, all the hardware is, is connected, the electronics are connected and you are ready to, to switch it on. The first thing we'll do is we'll connect the printer to your PC or Mac via the USB cable you received in your, in your box. How we'll do this is we'll connect the USB cable at the bottom of the Arduino board. For your PC to recognize the Arduino board, you need to follow the instructions in the documentation that you received in your box. So you'll need to install the drivers for the Arduino board before the, your PC will recognize the, the Arduino board. Now the Arduino receives 5 volt from the PC, so that powers also powers the, the LCD screen. So that should light up if you if you have the LCD screen. Now the next step what we'll do is we'll connect the Repetio software. We'll use that to connect to the to the printer. So when you open the Repetio software, click on printer settings and under port, check that you have selected the correct port for the to which the Arduino board is connected at the moment press OK and in the top left hand corner press the connect button then that icon will turn from red to green when it's connected and below it it will say disconnect so if you want to disconnect you can click the same button once we have connected to the printer, the first thing that we'll check is can we read the temperatures of the two thermistors, the one on the hot end and the one on the heated bed. So how we'll do that is we'll go to manual control and at the bottom there's two bars that goes from blue to green to red. The top one is the temperature of the heated bed and on the right hand side of that bar it is showing the temperature and the one below that is for the extruder and those two temperatures should be within about two to three degrees from each other but currently they are measuring the room temperature so check that they are actually measuring a temperature if one of them or both of them are displaying a zero value it means that there's a connectivity problem so either they are not plugged into the correct pins or some of the, the wires are um, there's a connection problem so if it displays zero go, go through your your cabling and make sure that the thermistors are connected properly how these thermistors work is the resistance over the, the two leads changes as the temperature changes so you should measure a resistance very close to 100 kilo ohm um, when you measure the resistance over the pins. And if you can do that, it means that they, they are working. If you have the LCD screen, you also see that the temperatures are displayed on the, the LCD screen for the, um, for the, the heated bed and also for the, the hot end. If your LCD screen is lighting up in blue but there's nothing displayed, check your, your cabling. There are two ribbon cables between the, the electronics and the LCD screen. If they are not plugged in correctly, the, the LCD screen will not display any information. The next step is to switch on the 12 volt to the electronics. At this point, Check again that the 12 volt is connected to all four, four pins. There's four pins usually. It's a green connector box where the, the 12 volt comes into the ramps board. And the first, if you look at it from the right hand side, how it's mounted on your printer, the one on the, the right hand side is negative, then it's 12 volt, then it's negative again, and then it's another 12 volt. And make sure that you connect to all four. Um, 
headers on that on that connector box. The one on the right hand side is for the for the stepper motors and the hot end and the one on the left hand side is for the heated bed. If those connections are not wired correctly and you switch on the 12 volt power supply it will damage your your electronics. So when you when you're sure that it's connected correctly you can switch on your, your 12 volt and nothing should change or the only thing that will go on is the fan that's cooling your electronics and also if you have the all metal hot end the fan on the hot end should also go on when you switch on the, the 12 volt If the power bulb is not switched on, then your heaters and your motors will not uh, operate. Now we will test the step motors and the end stop switches. So how we'll do that is we'll do it one axis at a time. We'll take first the X axis and the X axis is this one. And how we'll do that is we'll place the, the carriage more or less in the middle of the of the printer and then we'll put our finger on the x-axis end stop switch not we don't press it we just keep it close and under manual control in the repetier software we'll click on the house icon with the x on it that means home the x-axis and then as soon as the axis start to move we'll press the end stop switch if for some reason the, the the X carriage does not stop when you press the end stop switch, uh, you can switch off the 12 volt power supply and the motor will stop soon after that. So what we'll do now is we'll press the command the, the printer to turn the X axis and then we'll stop it with our finger. Like that. If the motor is moving in the wrong direction, you can turn the, the direction of the motor around by plugging that motor out, flipping the connector around and plugging it, it, it in again. That's for, for all the, the different stepper motors. If any of, of them moves in the, in the wrong direction, you can correct it by, by flipping the switch around on the, on the electronics. If the motor is not moving or it's only rattling in one in one place, then check your connection to your motor. It's probably a connectivity problem that one coil or two coils of the of the stepper motor is not is not powered. How these stepper motors work is there's two coils on the inside and the four wires that comes from the stepper motors the pin 1 and 2 on the connector is one coil and pin 3 and 4 on the connector is another coil so you can if you have a multimeter check the the connectivity of the motor that that gives the the problems um, to check if the the motor is wired correctly and if there's any connectivity problems where the the wires have been extended